Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Megan and I do videos um, about all things acrylic pouring. So um, if you want to see more videos, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I have um, a beginner series uh, playlist and I will link to it here if you are new to this whole world of acrylic pouring so you can see some basics. Um, so anyway, I have some pre of paints that I've mixed and the ones I've mixed are all mixed with Floetrol, a little bit of water and a couple drops of silicone. I'm also going to be using some Arteza pouring acrylic colors, which are pre-mixed. So these don't need any added anything, although I have added silicone to most of the colors. So um, if you see me using a bottle, that's why I had a couple questions when I did one the other day, um, wondering why some of them were mixed and some of them weren't, but um, it's just the Arteza come pre-mixed. And if you're going to use a pre-mixed, um, I've only tried two. I've tried Arteza and I've tried, ooh, I'm going to reach this um, Color Pour pre-mixed pouring paint. This I did not like at all. It I've used it several times, tried adding a little bit of water like it was recommended. Um, I added, I think I used it very little with other uh of my mixed colors. Every time I used it, it crazed and cracked and um, I just, it did not work for me. Um, so when Arteza came out with theirs, I was pretty um, hesitant, but they asked if I wanted to try it and I said, well, I'll try it because I like Arteza's paint. So I thought, well, we'll give it a go. And I went into it with uh, kind of um, low expectations, but I really like it. I haven't had any crazing problems. Um, a little silicone and it will um, uh, bring cells into your paintings. So um, that's nice. And I like that it's no fuss. I don't have to do anything with it. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm pouring my background right now. Uh, my background is just gonna be white and silver. I'm gonna swipe this, I think. I was gonna tilt, but... Um, there's not a ton of paint, so I'm just going to tilt. And I've got some, um, this is just like to and from, I ripped one, but labels like you put get for packages. These are actually from last year. I wish I was on top of things enough this year to already have that part done. I do not. Um, but anyway, if you leave the stickers on, it's a little too heavy and it sinks down into the paint, I have found too much. If you take the stickers off, um, if you've already used them or whatever, they glide They glide over the paint really well for swipes. So I'm just gonna kind of swipe this. And you can see the, the silver has silicone, the white does not. And I'm not gonna, you can see, I'm not gonna be super careful about how I do it. This is just my background and it's not gonna look like this for long. So I'm just basically trying to get my canvas covered. And I thought it might be kind of fun to have a silver and white background, not like a solid, in case um, I have some negative space. I thought it might be fun to have silver and white. So I'm just doing this really fast. Okay. And the sides I'll worry about when it's done. All right, get that out of the way. All right, now I'm gonna do an open cup. I don't think I said, where did my open cup? Oh, here it is. Sorry, I've been up since four in the morning. It's now six and I have not had any coffee and I'm thinking it's probably time. <laughs> but um, here's, this is a little yogurt uh, container that I just cut the bottom off of. So I'm gonna put it in the middle and I'm gonna start pouring into that. And I have, this is phthalo green. And I'm just going to kind of let the paint seep out and do its thing. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, some gold. I know the green has some silicone. I don't know if the gold does or not. Where's my pink? Sorry if that was really loud in your ear. Ooh, and there it goes. I love these open cup pours because I love watching the paint ooze out of them. 
I think it's really fun. Okay, I have some bronze here somewhere. Here it is. And the bronze has some silicone in it as well. And some orange. Kind of a corally orange. Kind of a fun color. I think I'll use a little bit more uh, pink. That was a little bit thick, that pink that I had left over from another pour, so I might try a different pink. This is Arteza's pink. It's a little paler. Um, but I'm thinking maybe that pink that I had might have needed a little bit of water added to it. It's been sitting a while. Okay, so now the fun part, let's tilt. Watch this come pouring out. really fun to watch it all came out that one side which is really interesting let's see if I can there we go let's go this way I might have had a little suction on it there for some reason Some days it takes more patience for me not to lift that cup than others. Today is one of those days. I just want to lift it up. Ooh, I love the way that orange is coming through. I don't want to lose that. Kind of bright, corally orange. Ooh, can you see this area? Probably not. I had it tilted the wrong way. It's really pretty. All right, we need to get some on this side a little bit. I'm kind of glad I did that silver and white. I like the way that almost looks like... Um, Marble. All right, I'm going to pour, pull the cap. I'm going to pour it this way a little bit. Go this way. Stretch that middle there so it's not like a circle. Nikki on, oh, is it her Art Inspirations page? I think it's her Art Inspirations page um, on Facebook. I'll link to it. She has one um, where she does this on a round canvas and she lifts the cup and it just leaves a really like an almost like an iris um, in the middle. It's really, really pretty. I will link to that. I'm just trying to cover this part right here because I don't know if you can tell. Um, that's where the cup slid and it left a little bit of a trail. Okay, let's go down this way a bit and then I'm going to call it. I'm going to leave the corners that silver and white because I really like it. So we're going to call that finish. Almost looks like the eye of a storm. Except the wrong colors for um, a weather map, but kind of cool. I might torch just to see what that middle does. Yeah, I'm not getting really anything else. All right. So there we go. I'm going to touch up the edges, um, but you guys don't need to see that. So there's my uh, open cup pour to let me know what you think in the comments. If you do um, open cup pours um, or what your favorite pouring technique is at the moment, I know it changes for me all the time, but what are you doing the most of right now? Um, and we will see you next time, guys. Happy pouring.